Hello, so, decided to make this clip because the amount of times I've looked for something on YouTube and just could not find a good enough step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to do something. I decided to tame the Desert Titan and uh, I had to do a lot of looking around to find out every single bit and bob of where to go, what I need, best way to get them. So, thought I'd make an easy video about it. So I decided to use a mana for pretty much everything. Uh, first thing I was looking for was the Wyvern Fire Talons. So I've gone to this section here, which is next to the Desert Dome. Um, sometimes you find none, sometimes you find eight. Uh, I, I managed to get two here. One of them was just fluke. But the easiest way I find to do it is to just chase them. They can't shoot you if you're behind them. And um, you'll see me do that in a second. But you need some Sarko, Sarko skins, 10 Sarko skins, uh, 10 fire talons from wyverns and also 100 corrupted hearts. So I'll stick with the fire talons since that's what I'm doing. So I just flukely killed that one there, see one fire talon. And I'll show you the way I found easiest to attack every single one of these without killing my mana. Because I had gone through a few doing this. I'm on 15 time servers. So you'll probably see why I do well why my dinosaur's a bit more of a tank. So yeah, just stay behind it, freeze it. That's not a very good example. This is it. Stay behind it. Many hits, another fire talent, so that's that. I'll show you the coordinates now of near it. But there you are, two of them. There's the chords ish. Just go a little bit further down. Uh, I did see one just off of where I am now. Uh, the next thing I get is Corrupted Hearts. So you need a hundred of these. I was getting about three to two per. Sometimes I got none. But the things you're looking for is Corrupted Parasers, Spinos and Rexes. Um, I kill a Rex and don't get one. But around this area here, all you find is the big guys. So the easiest things to kill. Because I'm, I'm not going to go and attack a Giga. So Parasers, Spinos, way forward, just the easiest way. Mana, just holds them still. Corrupted stays frozen for a bit longer than non-corrupted dinosaurs, so... Yeah, this area is by far the best, only took me about 15-20 minutes to get all the, all the things here, and that's only kind of, well, 15 times, so it's a bit more of an odd than if you're playing official. But, yeah. There's the spino. Corrupted hearts. Uh, I didn't see how many I got there. And then this Rex wasn't even in that area, but yeah, they're a bit harder to find than everything else turns out. But I, d I didn't get anything from this guy. A spino sneak. A spino? Scorpion sneaking up on me there. Uh, this is where I went for the Sarko skin, because this just done my absolute head in. Um, where I went to collect them all there weren't actually any there because I'd already wiped them out so I went a little bit further down you'll see in a minute to show you where they are but just in this little crack here down the side this is all swamp so all this way that I'm walking now you should see many Sarkos. I got 10 first time going there there was, there was 13 Sarkos. And I guaranteed one every time I killed one, so yeah, all the way down to this end. And I just circled back round, but a little bit further on. So I've just kept going forward a little bit, and I just seen one on the hill, just above the waterfall. They're they're very common. Once again, mana freeze, keep them still, easy. Got myself a Sarko skin. So that's where to get everything that you need to do it. Next thing I show you is how to get there, how to spawn the Titan. I have already got the Titan, so this is just afterwards to show you a bit because I didn't manage to get any from before. So in the Desert Dome, these are the coordinates. This is where you find the, the cave entrance to the terminal. The way I get into it is just to use tech. You, being on extinction you're gonna have tech if not 
I'm sure you can run it. It's the, the, the entrance is the hardest bit. But I just use my night vision so I can see a bit easier. And just double jumped every now and then. Scorpions are what's going to kill you there. Velinosaurs didn't even pay attention to me. But, yeah. Cause so this is the first time I'd ever entered the cave. First time I ever tried the Desert Titan. I will say, when I was taming it, I lost a lot of wyverns because that was the, just the one thing that I found easier. I kind of got in a rhythm with them and kept using them. They got a lot of health, so they can take a bit of a hit, especially on servers. Uh, that that section up there, like if you got tech like I do, just go through there. If not, I'll take you the longer way now, just around the side of it. But uh, yeah, this cave just become there wasn't any threat here really it was just the entrance you can run past everything else a lot of snails Be careful of them dangerous so I was gonna go the entire walk the way you walk through everywhere all the way through this tunnel however I didn't know it I knew about the first se uh, section from a video that I watched but I didn't know about the second section so I ended up just jumping through it by accident I didn't. Re well, no, I didn't. I just jumped off the edge of the cliff. I think it's right about now. I just don't know where to go, so I'm like, all oh, right, okay, it's got to be this way. No, so I'll turn back around now, and you'll see where you actually walk down the side. There you go. And I think I do the same again. You're meant to go left to walk down, and go round. However, I just be lazy and go straight for the middle because I can at this point. But I didn't come across any issues. Uh, but I come up to one of my embarrassing shots at the minute. But uh, gets on my nerves. So this is the artifact. It's one thing I actually forgot to bring. So I did already have one from when I like, found someone sleeping. I was like, oh, I'll rob that. So there's the artifact of chaos. There's the bat that I was telling you about. Then I realised I got a compound bow, so I uh, take a shot. and missed and thought I'll go for another surely I'll get a second time no and then I just give up because I'm clearly a bad aim yeah so just keep going round keep going just up that hill on the right is the terminal almost there Yeah, my sensitivity is really high. I, I do apologise for the, the jellerin, but it's, it's my only way of turning. I'm used to a lot of FPS shooters, battle royales. So, so that's everything you need. I've got it all there. At this point, I'm uh, waiting for my tribe mate to, uh, well, my partner, to just get ready in position for when it spawns. However, died straight away. We both did. So she gave up and I wasn't wasting all the hard work. Because <laughs> I was so dedicated on making this video. Because I just cannot find any videos that are any use. of. I just need a perfect walkthrough. That's all I want. Make things easy. I don't want to have to go on Reddit. I don't want to have to watch three videos to see the whole outrun. So I thought I'd do you all a favour. If you end up liking the video and you want anything else known put it in the comments I'll uh, see if I can do it and make a video on it a little walkthrough of how to do whatever you need I've played this for quite a while now I understand quite a lot I play on uh, non-official because wow I ain't got the patience but yeah so it's teleported me not to a uh, boss arena but into the actual just the desert dome in a section I thought, oh, cause it's a tech, got tech rifle, that'll, that'll be easy. Yeah, just to clarify, you can't do it in tech, I died another three times. But, this is the best way I found out, so, don't get hit by the birds. It'll be completely, you need to set off the node, so, every couple of seconds, you'll get a, uh, a pulse. You then 
fly up to the corrupted area. I'm showing you the way I found easiest to do it and not get hit off or attacked by the uh, Titan. You don't really get attacked on the first node, but the first time you hit it, the node will come up. So you should be able to see that big purple thing on its shoulder there. And this is how I timed it every time. So I slowed down, speed up last minute, bottom right on my screen you can see a uh, a timer of how long I've got left on it. But that's the left shoulder done. Obviously it took a lot more than just three hits. And then it learnt a few moves. So, as you can tell I'm on another wyvern I believe. This is the easiest way to do the second, which is a swoop down. Just about clip it, just in time. So that's how I avoided getting hit. It took me a lot of trial and error. I think it's about two hours to do this in total. Honestly, if I tried it again now, it'd probably only take one, and I could maybe do it with two two wyverns. No, me. I just get impatient. But just wait for the right opportunity. I think this is the same wyvern, just very badly beat up. It does die. Spoiler alert. And then I believe that's that. Uh, that nodule done. But the hardest one by far is that one right on the back there. That all you got to do is take that one out. You've got yourself a titan. So the way I found out to do it was to trigger the tail to do a, an attack. So I, one thing I will mention: if you're nowhere near it and it's not going to time up right, just let it shock. Keep moving. Don't stay still. Uh, so go over the tail, trigger its tail off. I then get my my charge. Go over to the back of it. There we go, hit it once, spot on, and then it'll time it perfectly for the next one, so I should be able to do the same. And then I'll go over the tail, I'll get my charge, bang on, and then same again, sprint in, spot on. So it is possible, there we go, that's all three nodes done. Yeah, I, I did struggle to land on the fucking thing. But really, I could do this in an hour with one wyvern and if I really tried, it'd take me twenty minutes to get all the resources, maybe thirty, so it's not that hard to tame them, well, especially on non official so yeah, first time taming it. don't know why I got off to whistle my wyvern to follow, but hey how, but there's a desert Titan. Now I found a few moves of it, uh, obviously L2 is the uh, the shock, you get to plan where the shock goes, and right trigger is a bite, however if you look backwards and do it, the tail comes up on wax. So you've got two attacks with the same button, it just depends whether you're facing forward or backwards. So this is the L2, I end up setting on a spino in a minute. But uh, I believe you left uh, L2 then R2 to attack. So there's the tail attack. You can't really see the general bite. But yeah, Titans are good. Uh, very, very good. Not too good against tech. I got this guy killed the next day. Took it over to Ragnarok. Just got wrecked. Just didn't even do much damage, to be honest with you. Took out about three turrets with it. Yeah try and get this before tech sage but yeah my little my little tent base with a giant titan on the outside so that's my tutorial hope you all liked it um, I tried to get everything in there that was necessary because I hate listening to absolute crap that I don't need to use so I tried to eliminate it all just wanted to show you what you needed where to go to get it where to go to uh, spawn it in and my best way of taming it so there you go hope you enjoyed see ya thank you very much